You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Fresh Air Barbecue and Affordable Storage of Jones County. With Bill Shanks, Tucker Sargent, and Montez Allen. Two making schools are on the docket tonight at Ed DeFore Sports Complex with Howard hosting Central. The Huskies had a big 21 point win against FPD last week, while the Chargers lost their season up near to Houston County. The Huskies won this game last year by 20 points. Here we go for some highlights the Chargers and the Huskies. There's our own Gary McPhail with a coin toss. All right, here we go. Huskies with the ball on their own 40. Jalen Clark to Jeremiah Kelly, and he's going to get about nine yards for a first down near midfield. Then the 24 handoff to Kelly, and he almost gets in there, but the ref says nope. Now, Gerard Portelio takes it in the house for a touchdown right there. Elizabeth Rodenroff will kick the extra point. That made it 7-0 Howard. Let's see what the Chargers get here. J. Roos oh, Evans hands off Maurice Elder, and he's going to bolt down the field. How about that? But it's knocked out, and the Huskies recover. Big turnover there. Howard back in possession, hand off Jordan Gray, and he's going to run to around the own 43 yard line. Huskies quick start, number nine. Sticks the ball to Jarvisia Meadows. There he is, slung down here by Jalik Thomas to the Chargers 15 yard line. Huskies will have to go for a field goal and fourth down. Ron Roth for three points. It's 10 0 Howard. Here's a kickoff return for the Chargers. Jadarius Pearson will receive and start downfield, but watch this. They just take the ball away. Jaquan Jackson steals it and scores. How about that? Touchdown. Kelly will run in a two point conversion on this play right here, bringing it to 18 to nothing. Howard holds on for the win, 54 19. Huskies are now 2 and 1. They host Westside next week, while the Chargers fall to 0 and 2. Over to Jack Bainsfield. Tattnall hosted Trinity Christian tonight. Opening kickoff. Here we go. The Lions. Number 24, Bryce Wilcox will catch it on the eight. Watch this nice run here. He's going to be pulled down around midfield by Brett Brantley. And good field position there. Lions would go down the field and get on the board first. Maxwell Pope gets the field goal to Trinity Christian, make it 3 nothing. Cattle's first drive, they knock on the Lions' door. Ty J. Sanders scoots in right side, touchdown. Trojans' kick was good, and they took a 7 3 lead late in the first period. Second quarter, Lions the ball, David Dallas. What a name. What a pass to Bryce Wilcox. Look at these moves right here. He scores for a touchdown. Trinity Christian got a two point conversion. They have then led 11 7. Trojans now, Hunter Alexander scrambles. To his right, and this pass is complete. Cole Rowland, he's down to the five for of the Lions. Alexander then fakes the handoff here, keeps it himself, and he gets into the end zone. Get your game on, touchdown, Tattnall. Trojans with Mr. PAT. So they led 13-11. Trinity Christian bounce back. David Dallas with time. James Bachelor touchdown visitors. The Lions would make the extra point, make it 18-13, and hold on to win it. 40 to 33. Tattnall now one and one on the season, and they play at Lincoln County next week. Tucker Sargent joins us now, and we had Macon County in Macon tonight to take on Southwest. Yeah, the Patriots hosting the Bulldogs in East Macon, actually. They usually play over at Henderson Stadium, but they were at Thompson Stadium. Patriots' second game of the season. They haven't played since that loss to Westside August 24th in the Macon Touchdown Club Middle Georgia Kickoff Classic. Patriots up 12-0, start of the second quarter, and trying to keep Macon County off the board. Third and forever for the Bulldogs, Ja'Kalen Williams, sacked by Markavius Henderson. And Josie Jaclavius. Patriots on offense here. Travion Searcy completes a big third and 11 pass to Malik Frazier. Big first down. That leads to the Patriots' third touchdown of the night. Jaden Williams, 25 yards to the house. Two point try was no good. It was 18 0 Southwest. More trouble for Macon County. Bulldogs punting, and it is not very good. Not good at all. Kenneth Bailey picks it up and Bailey scores. Look at that block, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's illegal now. Don't know what the ref was looking at, but anyway. Yeah, he scored, but they didn't call that, but they did call holding. But it was okay for Southwest because then this happened. Block! Yeah, Jalen Williams blocked it. Darren Harden gets the touchdown. 25 0 at the half. Southwest all over. The visitors from Macon County, 31-0. The final score, the Bulldogs now have been outscored 63-6 in their first two games. Macon County had that great year a couple years ago, and they have struggled to stay it, on top ever since. It is so, rough for yeah, Coach Copeland. No doubt. Our game of the week is coming up next. Tuck, we'll have Northside in Jones County. But first, here is our band of the week. 
It's time for the 41 NBC Band of the Week, sponsored by Zaxby's. Submit your video to 41NBC.com slash band. Hello, I'm Larry Alexander, band director at Southwest High School, home of the baddest band in the land, Southwest High School Marching Patriots. My favorite thing about being the band director here is the energy and excitement that I get to experience every day with these students. Go Patriots! Band for the 41 NBC Band of the Week, sponsored by Zaxby's. Don't forget, you can watch the End Zone live on the 41 NBC app. Download today. Tonight's catered meal for the End Zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community.